right now, Don Bay uh, with a very important live eye this morning. Yeah, and here inside a beautiful home on Barclay. And, um, you know, we're talking about Dining Out for Life, which happens this Thursday. Over 100 restaurants going to be supporting a loving spoonful and Friends for Life. And, Kim, first of all, what a beautiful home. But, boy, Friends for Life sure has evolved over the years. Yes, it has. Friends for Life was incorporated in 1993, and it started at the height of the HIV-AIDS pandemic in Vancouver. And Lorne Mancourt and a group of individuals started providing hot meals and massage and comfort and friendship to people who were living with HIV and AIDS at the time. And there were so many people needing support that um, they needed more space. And the city um, of Vancouver Parks Board uh, leased this space, this beautiful heritage home, to Vancouver Friends for Life Society for a dollar a year. So we've been here for 20 years. We've just signed another 20-year lease. <laughs> yeah, for $20. And helping many people. So, so again, when you said it started, it was helping those suffering from HIV and AIDS. But yes. really, it's expanded now. Yeah, our man mandate is broadened now to serve five specific diagnoses. We serve individuals that have HIV AIDS, cancer, hep C, ALS, and cystic fibrosis. And the services that you provide, we're going to go through again throughout the morning, but when you talk about the, the, the pillars of wellness, the things that you're yeah. really trying to accomplish for those that are suffering from life-threatening illnesses, what, what are those markers for you? We try to care for the whole individual, so body, mind, spirit, um, social, emotional, and vocational. So we provide brunches here where 50 to 60 people come every Monday and Wednesday and they sit and eat and socialize and be together and talk about what's going on. We provide counseling for individuals to help them support them with what they're going through emotionally. Um, body therapy such as Reiki, acupuncture, massage. So we nurture and spiritual as well. And primarily volunteer driven. We are going to throughout the morning Jody and Ria's show you and talk about some of the services that they offer but important to know that they need your money and a great way to support it and get a great night out. Dining out for life happening this Thursday. Make your reservations. The, the restaurants fill up, but 25% of your food bill will go to support Friends for Life and a Loving Spoonful. And again, that money is going to go far. We're going to go through some of those numbers also coming up throughout the morning as well. How much of a difference you can make this Thursday. Friends for Life, of course, one of the benefactors for Dining Out for Life, which happens this Thursday. 25% of your food bill at some 100 restaurants uh, going to support a Loving Spoonful and, of course, Friends for Life. Kim, what does that money actually mean? How does it translate into services? Um, for instance, let's say two people go out to dine out on Dining Out for Life and they spend $50. That will feed four people a hot brunch or a hot dinner um, on a Sunday night that we host that here. And we typically serve about 50 people every Monday and Wednesday at the house. So every dollar that's spent, that 25% that comes from the restaurants, goes directly into nutritional therapies and helping our clients. And there are so many services that are provided here and I'm going to go make my way into Reiki and of course yoga as well but the practitioners donate their time. Every practitioner here wow. volunteers their time. That yes. is amazing. Okay let me yeah. go and find out first of all I got to find out a little bit very briefly Scott what exactly is Reiki? Uh, Reiki is such a wonderful loving pure high vibrational energy. It does not know illness. It does not know impurity. So it's so wonderful for any individual in this home. So uh, maybe I'll just ask you Martin how does it benefit you? It, uh, Relaxes you uh, through and through, and uh, energy levels just kind of just goes down. Uh, relaxes me all over. And you look relaxed. I'm thinking I might have to go get a Reiki treatment coming up yeah, next. Too. And you donate your time as well. And we're going to make our way here into um, Clifton, who is oh, I, got, I hate to interrupt Clifton. A little bit of yoga. First of all, good morning. Why do you choose? to support Friends for Life, because you donate your time. Yes, we do. Yeah, we. It, it's a great opportunity to just sort of give back to the community and help people in need and, you know, just, you know, help them get better and stronger and, and healthier. How does yoga really benefit those suffering from life-threatening illnesses? Um, it, it really sort of energizes the body and helps them sort of um, get stronger and healthier. And, you know, it helps you also emotionally as well to, to you know, deal with some of the conditions that you that you have. It's fantastic. I mean, so many great services. Thank you very much. I'll let You're you get welcome. back. I'm sorry to pa sorry to put the pause on everybody. <laughs> you could support Friends for Life as well as a Loving Spoonful, all with.
with uh, Dining Out for Life. That happens on Thursday. Jody, as, or Michelle, I should say, there's a website there where it has all the restaurants that are listed. 25% of your food bill goes to support these very important organizations. And as we know, uh, they pay a dollar a year for their, their lease here. So we know that the housing is not uh, an important or it's a big cost for them here, but certainly um, supporting for the meals. And we're going to feature one of those meals with Chef uh, Tobias coming up next. In addition to all the other services that Friends for Life uh, provides, they also uh, have a brunch every two weeks. And so that's part of where your money goes when you support Dining Out for Life this Thursday. So Chef Tobias from Mammy Taylor's also participating. Yeah. What are you making? So this morning we're making a stinging nettle frittata. Okay, stinging nettles for somebody who doesn't know what they are. What are they? They're um, a beautiful foraged wild weed green that grows um, around here, everywhere, all over the world in this kind of a uh, climate though. There's something I grew up eating. Hated as a kid. Now I can't get <laughs> enough of them, of course. My mom loves to hear that. So we're just gonna, we've got uh, onions, some potatoes browned off, just tossing in these blanched stinging nettles, just quickly in boiling water, out, and that way they stop stinging you. Very, very important. We're just gonna throw in our egg here. And a frittata is one of those things that you really can use most things. If you have eggs and potatoes, you can put everything else from your fridge. Can we dump it, that cheese right? in for me? Yeah. What kind of cheese is all this? Over the place. We've got some Swiss cheese. Yep. And we got some goat cheese. Just gonna put it all over. And then it's so simple. All you gotta do is just at that point, just put it right in the oven. And then this is what it looks like finished. This is what it looks like done. Yep. About 10 minutes in the oven. Wait until the egg stops jiggling in the middle, and you're done. And for anyone that's never been to Mammy Taylor's, because you are one of the participating restaurants, upwards of 100 restaurants participating yep, we are. this Thursday, what kind of food do you have? Uh, we call it regional American cuisine. So a lot of playful stuff, definitely inspired, a lot of Southern American inspiration. But uh, we, we like to sort of take it, inspiration from all over. Fantastic. Dining Out for Life happening this Thursday. 25% of your food bill supports both The Loving Spoonful and Friends for Life, which we are featuring this morning on Breakfast Television. Are you feeling lucky, yeah. my friend? Lucky donut goodness right part in front of, of us. Part of Dine Out Vancouver. If you want to go, you can go to 49th Parallel, either the one on Main Street or the one in Kitsilano, yeah. and get one of these lucky special edition Dining out. Can yeah, I, go. Are you kidding me? Can I do it? Let's do it. You know, let's get all the details uh, from Dawn on a dine out. Yeah. But, uh, this is delicious. Thanks very much. And it's not Dine Out Vancouver, it's Dining Out for Life. Mm, Very right. important event that's happening. That's okay. You're, you got donuts. I can see why you'd be distracted. And uh, Coulter, you made these donuts. How can people help by buying these donuts? Well, from the 26th through the 29th, we'll be having a special donut in the cafe. 100% of the proceeds go to Dining Out for Life. And those are going for three fifty, right? Three fifty. dollars Awesome. And of course, Dining Out for Life happening, Kim, on Thursday. Who does, uh, does Friends for Life help, really? Um, friends for Life helps our friends, people like the people around the table today, um, people who are experiencing life-threatening illnesses and are coming here for support and care and comfort. And things that they can experience for free because, hey, they provide these services to many of their friends here because you have helped by supporting Dining Out for Life. Uh, Pete, what's the greatest thing that you've uh, benefited from? Uh, the house has amazing energy with holistic treatments for promoting healing, a garden, um, acupuncture. Lots of great services. Tobias is working with Mammy Taylor's, one of the upwards of 100 restaurants participating in Dining Out for Life. Uh, Debbie, what about you? What do you get out most for Friends for Life? Uh, it's the people I come in. I get to enjoy the people, and we do lots of fun things together, lunches, cooking classes, uh, just spending time with great people, positive energy. Thank you so much. And, of course, Scott, you were the practitioner for the Reiki, but you also have benefited. Yes, I'm a member since 2007. The home saved my life, and eight years later, I'm blessed to be here three days a week watching others transition illness to wellness. Giving back, and you have a great experience in the kitchen, don't you, Dave? Yes, the house offers several different food programs, but if you have something specific you want to give and donate to the house in the way of cookies or cakes or pastries, you have the opportunity to use the kitchen and supply the house with that. Truly like a family, Martin, we heard from you earlier. Of course, you were getting the uh, Reiki treatment, so yes. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> and very quickly, um, Maggie, I know that you also get something special out of Friends for Life. Yes, I really appreciate the um, the social support that we get here, and it's not only about the, the social support we get, but coming here, being able to give the social support to others. Thank you so much. Dining Out for Life happening on Thursday. More details on the website of the restaurants that you can attend.